I'm just getting on Periscope real quick and then we can get started. I know you guys probably wondering like what is the title all about? I'm going to be sharing a lot of things so please share, 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 share this broadcast. All you have to do is go onto the bottom left hand corner of your phone, your tablet, or your laptop and share the broadcast. Um, because we're going to talk about some amazing things. I did a lot of research and I'm going to be sharing a lot of personal insights on why society is against mothers, you know. So I think we, it's time that we talk about this. Society is... Well, I can't talk and walk at the same time. You guys know that. Let's see. Hope you guys are having a lovely day. Hold on, you know, I gotta get my hashtag game up. <laughs> I gotta get the hashtag going, honey. We're about to start real soon. I see some viewers coming in on Facebook Live. I'm loving, 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 loving it. I'm just trying to go into Periscope. But I like to do Periscope and Facebook Live at the same time. Kill two birds with one stone. It's about working smarter, not harder, guys. Let me know if you can hear me and see me. Just hit one on Facebook Live. Let me know if you can hear me and see me. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Whenever I type fast, I'm trying to type slow because whenever I type fast, I be spelling the words wrong. And then when I go back and check out my own replay, I'm like, oh my God, I just spelled that wrong. I hate that. I hate that. Almost done. Thank you guys for joining. If you guys can hear me on Facebook Live, just hit um just hit one and also please share this broadcast. Share, share, share. On the bottom left hand corner, you can share this broadcast. We are on, we are now on Periscope. We are now on. Hi guys, hello. So those of you who are on Facebook Live will watch me right now. I'm also on Periscope Live as at the same time. So you're going to be seeing me go from camera to camera to camera. So just so you guys be like, what is she looking at? <laughs> Hi guys. Hi guys, how you guys doing? Hello, hello, hello. Please share, please share this broadcast, guys, because I'm going to give you guys a lot of information. So, and also heart it up, Periscope, heart it up for me, heart it up. So, how is everybody doing today? How's everybody doing? Do you feel blessed today? If you feel blessed today, please comment one reason why you feel blessed today. I would love to hear why you feel feel that way. Okay, hit one if you feel blessed. Hit one right now if you really feel blessed today. And tell me why you feel blessed today. Okay, so while I wait, also share the scope as well. Because we're about to get started. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Yes, thank you. Please share. Yes. So, my name is Tisha Campbell. And I am a wife. <laughs> I'm a mother of three. Uh, and I also have a home-based business, okay? I share with tons, um, I share with tons of people uh, products for moms um, to be able to have a safer alternative to candles, okay? Um, so just scaling back really quickly, um, my first year launching my business, I had a totally different outlook of what my goals are, what I wanted to accomplish with my business, like it's beyond different right now and I've only been um, doing my business I've only been an entrepreneur now for going on a year now it's a, um, yesterday made a year so I first my first goal was for me to have a full-time home-based business and have a full-time day job outside the home that was 
my whole goal initially was to do both in a sense to have two full-time jobs that was my goal in the beginning but for the past couple of months I have been going through this huge transitioning and it's, it's almost for me it was unwelcome transition because I hate transitioning like I have a business coach and she would tell you um, uh, she's uh, definitely searched for her on Periscope at Wellspeaker um, she knows that I'm not good with transitioning I'm not I'm a, such an ABC type of woman that it, I'm so used to doing things on a routine type of format that when somebody comes in and just throws like a wrench in my whole idea it definitely makes me uncomfortable because I'm not used to transitioning I have a huge issue to transitioning and even me recently realizing that I see where my older son gets that from ever since my son has started going to school he has always had a huge issue with transitioning transitioning from one class to the next transitioning from one subject to the next transitioning from one activity to the next always had an issue so i always based it on oh, maybe he just has a delay i mean he does have some delays but i thought that that was a factor of his delay but actually it's not it's actually hereditary because mommy has an issue with transitioning and i just got opening i just opened up my mind to realize that that I, that that is something that i need to work on is my transition level because if you're in business it's going to transition even when you least expect it, your business is going to transition. It just happens. Hi, Hakeem. Hey, cuz. My cousin Hakeem is on. It's just something that's going to happen. So you have to welcome it. You have to accept it. And you just have to go along for the ride. Hold on. I'm going to clean my camera. Okay. Good. I look so much better on Facebook Live. Good. All right. So with the transitioning that my business has been going through, my mindset had to change. I had to change my mindset I had to change overall how I see my business how I think about it how I work it everything so I come to realize I had a huge aha moment and I realized that I can't be successful at my home-based business and have a successful career outside the home all at the same time it just doesn't happen that way it can't it can't. It's like serving two masters. You're going to end up being more favorable to one and then not be favorable to the other. So it's never going to be a balance where you're like this. If you're going to have a home-based business, if you want, to, I'm sorry, if your goal is to have a successful home-based business and have a successful career, and you think it's going to be like this, it's not. It's always going to be like this. There's going to be months where you favor your, your business more. Your home based business more and there's going to be months where you favor your career outside of your home more it's going to be an imbalance so with this imbalance guys it's going to cause hi morvina hello it's going to cause frustration it's going to cause resentment and people are going to end up seeing that they're going to end up seeing that and it's not good so that means that you're going to end up losing income you're going to end up losing customers you're going to end up getting your 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 outside day job upset with you because they're going to notice that you're lagging in some areas and it's, it's just not going to be good for you you don't want that so I had a huge life up moment and I realized that this is why people quit being entrepreneurs this is why people quit having go with your own yes honey thank you Hakeem thank you this is why people stop building their own business like my cousin Hakeem is on right now and let me just explain something to you guys about my history. We were sort of like born to be business owners. You know, I come from a family with who, with individuals who had an immense amount of ideas, aspirations, goals, everything. It, it's just embedded in my blood. Like I would go, I would work at a job, I would get hired someplace, and then like I would say this. The first three months, I automatically wanted to be a manager or an assistant manager, or I wanted—I just wanted to lead a team. I don't know what it was in me. And in the back of my mind, I was like, "Oh my God, Tisha, you know all these responsibilities are going to come. You know all these problems going to come. You know you have an issue dealing with people, okay?" <laughs> but I still wanted to do it because it's in my pedigree. It's in my bloodline and you know Hakeem tell me if I'm wrong but you know it's in us 
So I always had that mindset. And again, this is why people quit being entrepreneurs because they don't want to choose. They don't want to choose between a full-time career job and they don't want to choose in between their business. So they rather than deal with all of the frustrations and the negativity and depression and everything, they just rather stick it with their full-time jobs. They'd rather do that than having to go through the ups and downs of having a of being an entrepreneur and having their own home based business. I mean, it happens every day, and they don't want to make sacrifices that must be made. Because if you're going to have your own home based business, you want to have to make some sacrifices. If you want to have a successful home based business, you're going to have to make more sacrifices. So Hakeem said one year because telling the world about us, and you better go with you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you Haki. thank you so they're gonna have to make we're gonna have to make sacrifices in order to have true financial freedom so guys i'm gonna go i'm gonna get into more in depth in a little bit about that but um let me go let me just go into the next thing um because for right now i'm talking to the women who are watching this broadcast okay okay the women who are watching this broadcast right now, the women who are going to watch this broadcast on replay, on replay, I'm talking to those women because ladies, you know, and before I go on, please share the broadcast. Please share, share, share. If you're on Facebook, you just go on the top left-hand corner of the screen and share this broadcast. Please share. All right? So question. Let me ask you guys a question. Why does society want us working outside the home? Why does society want you to work outside the home? Think about that. And you don't have to answer it right now. Just think about the reasons why society wants, especially a home where there's two, um, where there's a mom and dad, why do they want both of us to work outside the home? And I'll tell you why. Some of the reasons why. Because there's a lot. <laughs> I'm just going to dab into some of the reasons because if I say everything, we can, I'm going to be on here until 6 p.m. today. So, you, you, if, if both parents, both individuals work outside the home, you're spending more money as a household, okay? Because it's all about household size. And really, technically, my family size is the common household size. I'm a family of five. So when you look at that, as like a statistic-wise, I'm the most common household size. So as your income increases... So does your expenses. So as your income goes up, your expenses go up. All right? So I'm going to use myself as a personal reference because that's the only thing I could go off of. And you guys can give me your own personal examples if you want to. So, But I'm going to use myself as a personal reference. Okay? So I've been married for 14 plus years. I have three very young children. Uh, both myself and my husband work primarily outside the home. So, these are just some of the expenses that we have right now because we both work outside the home. This is just some. This is just some, guys. Some. Not all. Some. We have daycare, which goes up every single year. Our daycare expenses go up. Okay? We have tutor fees. Because like I told you guys at the beginning of this broadcast, I have a child who has learning delays. We also have school bus fees, which goes up every single year, okay? And we also pay more in taxes. Now, I know what you guys are going to say. You ladies are going to say about the taxes. You say, well, you can really finagle that to pay less. No, I cannot. Trust me, I have tried. I have tried. Trust me, I have tried. Let me tell you something about that. And I, I do not recommend you guys playing around when it comes to the IRS or any kind of taxes. If you're going to claim single on your taxes and you're married, you're listed as married, or even if you're not listed as married, now I live in New York State, so I don't know how any other state goes, but I'm talking about if you currently live in New York State, this is how it works in New York State because I've tried it, okay? So, if you decide to put single, file for single taxes, you may get a large income because I have, I, if I go down to my accountant and I'd be like, you know what, I'm going to just file by myself and I'm going to claim all the kids. I have three children, so I'm going to file by myself and I'm going to claim the kids. Guess what? I'm going to get a pretty good check. I'm going to get thousands of dollars because I'm just claiming my income 
and the three kids. But guess what's going to happen? What get, well, let me not say what's going to. Guess what did happen? Okay? What ended up happening is, a year and a half later, I get a, a, a bill in the mail saying I owe this such amount of money. It catches up to you. Because you know why? They want you to prove that your spouse, your husband, your baby daddy, your 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 one night stand or whatever. They want you to prove that he lives at a different address other than your own. And they want to see his tax return for the past year or two. They may ask for more. They can. They can ask for more if they want to. They, if they audit you, they can ask you for whatever you want. You have to generate it. So I do not advise you guys playing with the taxes. So being the fact that my husband and I file together, we do pay more taxes because it's both of our income. And unless we have 10 more kids, which we won't, we plan on having more, but not 10, um, we're going to have to pay more taxes. We fall into a different bracket. It's the same thing if I file for food stamps. It's the same thing if I file for WIC or whatever. It's the same thing. So I don't depend on the state. Sorry. All right? So somebody really quickly tell me what expenses that you incur from outside, from working outside the home. Tell me something that you, expenses that you now have accrued for working outside the home and before you do that please please share the broadcast please share and please heart it up on periscope thank you guys so much for joining on periscope i so appreciate that and just so you guys know on facebook i'm on facebook live and i'm on periscope at the same time so that's why i'm looking at two cameras uh, two cameras okay so again guys as your income increases so does your household expenses always remember that so many people say ask me well what if i get paid more what if i get a raise my help myself or my husband what if we get a raise in pay one year all right that's good congratulations that's amazing that's wonderful but here's the downside of it and i don't mean to be negative i'm just trying to be realistic because when you have a family you have to be real um, you have to migrate being a realistic person so with getting higher pay means more responsibilities with giving higher pay you're you are going to probably be required to work more hours um and that means more time away from your children and who wants that and again it's going to be more stress on your relationship because you have all this overwhelming amount of responsibility um, stemming from you getting a raise, so your job is going to expect a lot for, more from you. I mean, it's it's what happens. So, why reducing household expenses is more important than increasing your income? So, why reducing your household expenses is more important than increasing your income? It, it's real simple. The answer to that question is very simple, but as women, we are just scared to do the steps. And we continue being fooled by society. So here's a fact. Here's a few facts, actually. If you can save 50% of your income, you only need to work one out of three years. Okay? Let's go back to my personal example. So let me use myself again as a personal uh, line of reference. And, okay, so let me just talk about three of my bills that I can get rid of if I stop working. Three. The first bill... Well, let's go into yeah three. Sorry, I was gonna, I was gonna say five, but let's do three. I don't want to overwhelm you guys. I'm like, oh my god, you have a lot of expenses. Yeah, so let's talk about three. All right, daycare for me is a little bit over fifteen hundred dollars a month. All right, school school bus fees. I do have to pay for my my children to be transported to school and brought home for school because the school doesn't provide transportation where I live. So that's another five hundred dollars. In fees a month so I have to pay fifteen hundred a month for daycare and I have to pay five hundred dollars for bus fees all right and then lastly a month I have to pay tuition fees of three hundred dollars so in total every month just from those three because I have more I would list more but only three uh, the total of that is twenty three hundred all right twenty three hundred dollars a month now if I'm in a, a month where it's a five week month that amount goes up by hundreds of dollars for each bill okay remember that so if you guys can comment below even if you're watching this on the replay comment below and tell me some of the bills that you have accrued due to 
both of you guys working outside the home. And before you do that, please, please share the broadcast. Please share the broadcast. Even if you're watching on the replay, please share the broadcast and heart it up. All right? It is simple, guys. It's simple, but why don't people follow it? Why don't people see that as like, wow, you're, you're because of one of you working outside the, the home, you guys are actually spending more and you're actually spending more in the long run because when you look at it, if I times that by 12, which I haven't yet, I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to be stressed out. <laughs> but if I times that by 12, that's a lot of money. That's a lot. That could go towards other things. So it's simple again, but why don't we, we as women follow it? It's because simple math doesn't convince women to do anything. It doesn't. If you know anything about psychology, numbers and savings really don't mean anything to women. It don't really mean anything to us. The truth is, we are so attached to objects like cars, houses, death. Uh, and worrying about all of these physical objects gives us, gives us as women the illusion that both parents have to work outside the home in order to, to accomplish an amazing lifestyle. That's why we have that illusion, you know, that goes in through society. So society has made us, made us as women feel like job is, jobs are our security. You know what I'm saying? Just take a moment and think about that. Society has made us as women feel that having a job, you go into that job every day, you're probably at work right now watching me. Society has made us as women feel that having a job is security and it's not it's not you're expendable I don't care how long you've been with your company and I've been with my company for many many years and I'm still expendable I have seen people work at my company for decades and they leave and they don't even get talked about the next week we're all expendable no matter how much you invest into it, no matter how many hours extra you work the day, you're still an expendable employee. Employee. I mean, that's just real. We're all expendable. The result is we all spend 100% or more of our household income. That's, me, that's with both people working outside the home, both parents working outside the home, you're actually spending 100% or, or more of your income. All right? So what happens is your personal anxiety increases. You become more vulnerable to minor shifts in life. And you lose your resilience. Because people who are entrepreneurs deal with numbers every day. We deal with numbers every single day. So when there's a, a crisis or a shift, we sort of know how to adjust to it. Because again, we deal with numbers every day. And sometimes we'll see it ahead of time. And, we were able to, and then we're able to prepare, prepare for it. So uh, most Americans, most, Ameri most of America is one to two paychecks away from financial ruin. One to two paychecks away from having financial ruin. And I'm not talking about the tough times. I'm not talking about, I'm not even talking about when the economy is going, is going bad. Because even when the economy is going great, you guys are still pity pitching. Even when the economy is going great, we're still pity pitching. So you got to really think, you got to really think, is it worth that job? You got to really think. You got to really, really sit down and think. Um, so question, you or your spouse loses their job. Do you have enough in savings right now? If you or your spouse lose your job right this very second, do you have enough money in savings? And before you answer that question, please, again, share the broadcast. Please share the broadcast. Even if you're watching this on replay, please share. Another question I would like to ask you is, God forbid, if death happens suddenly, do you have enough to pay for funeral expenses? You can say, well, I have uh, insurance and all this other stuff, but that 
that doesn't cover everything because you don't know where you, what what financial uh, circumstances you're going to be at once you leave this earth you don't know that because you don't know when you're going to go <laughs> if I knew when I was going to go when it, if I knew the date year and time of the last day I was going to be on this earth I would have everything prepared for but we don't know when we're going to leave we don't know when God is going to call us back so we're really not prepared so all that money that you know your job puts in this little pool is really much less it's not going to be enough okay so it's not going to be enough so let's say if your child god forbid needs surgery and your insurance only covers 75 percent of the bill you have to pay for the for the rest do you have money right now to pay that i know you pay insurance to your job every month but what if that doesn't cover the whole bill? Can you go back to your insurance and say, well, do I have any money in reserve? They're going to look at you and say, no. Heck no. This is your deductible. That's it. So, most women tell me, and I get this question all the time, all the time, and I'm just going to answer it right now, and I hope I don't get it no more, but <laughs> it's fine. You guys can ask me all the questions you want, but the question I get all the time is, I want to earn extra income but I don't want to quit my job what should I do now that is a tough question to answer because I'm in that situation so it is sort of a tough question to answer but if you hi Jamie hello hi if you say to me but look at it this way guys hey girl look at it this way your employer is anchored to the salary they're paying you right now. Thank you for the hearts. They're anchored to the salary that they're paying you right this very second. So if you're not willing to jump to a different employer or start your own business, you're looking to going up an uphill battle. You know, so you have to do one or two of those things because your employee really is only anchored to give you what they give you because it's all about budgeting and, and profits and payroll and all that nonsense, overhead, everything. So reducing your household expenses is the fastest and easiest way to build wealth. Write this down, and before you guys write this down, please share this broadcast. Again, even if you're watching this on the playback, please share this broadcast. Again, reducing your household expenses is the fastest and easiest way to build wealth. Fast, thank you, Jamie, for sharing. Fastest and easiest way to build wealth. All right? If you can't battle the lifestyle inflation now, I'm sorry, if you can't, <laughs> if you can't battle the, life, the lifestyle inflation now, let's say if you make 42000 a year right now, all right? And you can't, you can't really, you're still not making it in ends in, meet. You're still struggling. You're still a penny pitching, but you're as an individual making forty two thousand dollars a year. There's no chance in hell, no chance in hell, you'll be able to make it if you're making ninety grand a year. It's not. There's no chance in hell. I'm sorry. No, I don't care if you're looking at me like what, what? No, no. There's no chance in hell. Sorry. Okay, so many of you women need to let go of your jobs. You need to just let it go. You need to just let it go and work towards your own businesses. Work towards having your own home-based business. Work towards becoming your own entrepreneur. Work towards your own dreams. Thank you for the hearts, guys. Thank you so, so much. All right? Because I'm in work towards my business mode. Even though I'm working full-time now, I'm in my work towards mode. Okay, and if any of you guys are with me, please type in amen. Please type in any of you guys on the same level I am that right now you're all working towards having your own, thank you, Jamie, having your own home-based business. Jamie, I'm on Facebook Live too. That's why I'm switching cameras. If any of you guys are working towards having your own home-based business, please type in amen. Because if you even working towards it, that's a huge accomplishment right there. All right? Yes, I am. Tyree in September. Awesome. So, so if you and your spouse both work, that means most of your checks are going to unnecessary expenses. 
if both of you guys are working, that means a lot of your income is going towards unnecessary expenses. And listen, guys, I have three kids. Y'all can't tell me nothing. I have three kids. Y'all can't tell me anything. Because let me tell you something. I have three young kids. I know what I say a hundred times, but I have to say it. It's the truth. Nobody trying to watch my kids. Nobody. I may have gotten family to watch my son when I first had my first child. I had no problem finding somebody watching him most of the time. Nobody, like, you, yeah, Jamie, nobody wants to watch three. Three little ones, and they're, they're all two years, almost two years apart. Nobody gonna watch it. Nobody wants to watch them. Nobody. People got things to do. You know, people would say, well, you say you're gonna be back at five, but you didn't come home till eight. You know, because when me and my husband go out of the house, it's like we we, we run away slave. We free. <laughs> it's like we're free. You know, the minute somebody says yes, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll watch them. We just out. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth. Nobody want to watch three young babies. No. It just doesn't happen. So, again, I have to pay. We have to pay for daycare. We have to pay for busing. We have to pay for so much expenses that are accrued because both of us work outside the home. Me and my husband have date night once. Yeah, because you have kids. I'm oh, sorry. And I'm not saying children are not a blessing. I will have a hundred children right now if I can. But again, nobody wants to watch a bunch of kids all night. Yeah, I still have my cold. I think it's just my allergies. So I need to um, go and um, go to my doctor. I got to get an EMT. So I got to schedule an appointment. See? Hello? See that point that Jamie just... The question she... I know you guys can't see it on Facebook Live. But... I feel that one of us... If I was not working... And I was just taking care of my kids full time... I would spend more time on my personal wellness... Even saying that bothers me because we, us as women guys, we always put everybody before ourselves. I have always put everything else before myself. I don't pay attention to Letitia most of the time unless it gets really bad. Like with my finger when I slammed it in the door of the car, I had to address that issue because it was just instant pain that I needed to get resolved in there. Hi, Latoya, resolved in there. But I don't have the time right now to think about me. So if it was like an issue of appeasing myself or my job at the time, that at this time, that needs that instant response or answer I'm not going to I don't always choose myself I don't and that's just reality and I know you guys who are watching this now and who are watching this on the replay you mommies though I'm talking about the, to the mommies out there y'all don't think about yourself we don't we don't we are on the back burner we are on the other side of the street we are under the the, the couch the bed we don't even think about ourselves. We don't. We don't. Because we work outside the home. So anything that has to do with me, like right now, Jamie just said that I've been I've been having this cold. And Jamie, tell me if I'm lying. I've been having this cold for over a month now. And it's still there. If anything, it's gotten worse. And I know I keep saying I'm going to go to the doctor. I mean, you heard me say it all the time, Jamie. I'm going to the doctor. I'm going to get checked out. But when it came time for me to pick up the phone and call, I have to think about okay, what day? I ha what day is good to do this? Because Rory has, uh, 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 Rory has a fashion show coming up. Uh, Rory has this going on at his school. Yeah, I have so much things going on that all these things that come before that. Anything that I want to do gets pushed back. Hi, Daddy. Hi. Yes. So, going back to 
got to is if you and your spouse both work, that means most of your checks are going to unneeded expenses. All right? By you joining my home based business, it will help you eliminate those unnecessary monthly expenses that you're spending thousands. Somebody say thousands. Hi. Hi, Daddy. Somebody write in thousands, thousands of dollars a month. Because I already went back and took, use you guys, use me for you guys as my personal reference. How all this money, thousands of dollars that I'm spending, almost $3,000 a month that I'm spending right now, right this very second, for me working outside the home. That have I, if I work full time from the home, I wouldn't have those expenses. That's almost $3,000. Yes, a month, a month. And don't, I don't even want to get into if it's a month that has five weeks. I'm talking about months that have four weeks. Uh, months that have five weeks? Yeah. That's a whole other ball game. So I spit it, spit it, spit it. So again, if you, if you, thank you so much for the hearts. Thank you. Thank you. So if you really change, transition your mindset, because like I told you guys at the beginning of this broadcast, I have it. I used to have a huge problem with transitioning. But if you transition your mindset to where you start really thinking about everything that you can save, if you have a home-based business, all the money that you can save, if you join my home-based business, you'll be astonished. You'll be astonished. Astonished about the thousands of dollars that you can spend. Yes. So... Do you want to know what would be the outcome of you having your own home-based business? Say me. And if you're watching this sort of play, say me. Do you want to know the outcome? Do you really, really know what the outcome would be if you decide to have your home, own home-based business? If you decide to become an entrepreneur, if you decide to become a businesswoman, if you decide to... Have your own home based business. Do you want to know what the outcome would be? But let me let me start with saying that the income that you generate from being an entrepreneur, from being a business owner, somebody say business owner. Even if you're not right now, it's all about mindset. Even if you're not a business owner right now, just say you're a business owner. Just type in business owner. Type in business owner. Because remember guys, the, the I posted something on Monday about the power of your words. The power of your words. God gave us power, but we just got to open our mouths. We just got to open our mouths. And I am making this up. All of you who are watching this broadcast under the sound of my voice, I know all of you got the Bible. So you can reference back to that. So I'm not making this up. When God said, let there be light, what was there? Light. Okay, when God said, when God said, when God said, amen. So just imagine what you could do with the power of your words. Just imagine all the barriers, all the fear, all the procrastination that you can knock down just by opening your mouth. This is a gift, guys. This is a gift. This is a gift. This is a gift. Somebody say gift. Okay. The power of your words. So if you speak it to, you want to be a business owner. If you speak it to life that you want to, uh, hi LaShonda, if you want to have a good life, it's going to happen. Because you spoke it. Because you spoke it. That's so important. So, the income you earn by having your own business. So, someone say, my own my own business from having your own business the, the income that you generate from having your own home based business that income will go towards things that will bring value to your children the income that you generate from having your own business for being a businesswoman for being an entrepreneur that income actually goes towards them to increase the value of your family. You ain't valuing your family working outside the home. No, you're not. 
Because like I said, this, during this whole entire broadcast, you actually occurring more expenses into your household. You are. Because like I said, if I was working from home, I won't be daycare. I won't be school bus fees. And I won't be paying higher taxes. That's just three. That's just three. I could list more. I could go down and list more. Trust me, I can. I go down on and on and on and on and on. So, I could go on and on and on. I really can. So, your entire family as a whole is going to be blessed because you're working in the home. You you have your home based business and you're working in in a home. That means more groceries. And let me tell you guys, any of you that have two or more kids, they, these kids eat like like cookie monsters. They just they just eat and eat. Even the baby the other day, my son, my youngest son is three. He's three. The other day he was eating steak, and I didn't give it to him. He took a piece of steak off the table as my nine year old was eating it, and he didn't even choke on it. He ate it like a champ. And I was thinking like, oh God, now he wants steak. Now that means I have to buy the little four the little four pack ones. I have to get the whole family pack ones. You understand? BJ's love me. I can't go to a regular supermarket. That all if I go to a regular supermarket and do two weeks worth of shopping, that stuff would be gone by the fourth day. Gone out of here. Okay. Also, something that I could do is early learning programs, invest more money in children activities, and your marriage is going to grow. Your marriage and your relationships is going to just be stronger. Your monthly expenses would drop dramatically once you have your own home-based business. You get out of debt much faster, much faster, much faster much much faster okay so don't you realize that putting your blessings towards someone else you're not growing because you're putting all your blessings all your hard work all your skills all your ethics towards someone else all right you're pouring all your power into your job guys I'm sorry you're pouring all your power and all your skills and all your talents into your job. And that's not the way it's supposed to be. So if you're tired, please type in the word tired. If you're truly tired. Hold on, guys. So if you're truly tired, please type in the word tired. Please. If you're truly tired of thinking about building a home-based business, if you're truly tired, you will build a home-based business. If you're truly tired of thinking about building a home-based business, girl, you joining my team and building a home-based business is going to be a tremendous blessing to you. It's going to be a tremendous blessing to you. Tremendous. And I know if you've been online looking, I know, I know that most of you women under the sound of my voice who are watching this live right now and on the replay, I know you've been thinking about having your own business. I know it's in you. Just like I told you guys at the beginning of this video, how it's in my blood. It's, it's in my pedigree. It's in everything. I know for a fact it's in you. I know it. I know it. And maybe you ventured off into other businesses in the past or just recently. But let's talk, guys. If you, if you ever thought about launching your own business, if you ever thought about being an entrepreneur, let me tell you something else. If you ever thought about spending more time with your children, have you thought about that? Have you ever thought about spending more time with your children? Have you ever thought about spending more time with your spouse? Even if you guys go through problems right now and you need that time just to do marriage counseling. But you don't have the time for it. And your marriage and your relationship is suffering because you, you guys just don't have time for it because both of you work outside the home. 
You know, society is against marriage. Society is against family. And we're falling into it every single day. Because we allow all these obstacles to get in our way. If you ever thought about spending more time with your family. If you ever thought about spending more time with yourself. Please contact me. There's a link right above this broadcast. If you're on Periscope right now, you just swipe up and there's a there's a link right there. It's a Google link. Click on that if you ever thought about doing something better. Because I promise you guys, society is lying to you. And all the stress that you're worried about, I promise you, if you just shut down and left that job, that's not really doing anything for you or your family. You're going to have an overwhelming amount of relief and blessing over your head. Because provisions and adjustments will be made. But you have to start first. You have to start first. And home-based businesses is where it's at. It's going to give you more time with your children. It's going to give you more time with yourself. It's going to give you a sense of, wow, I'm accomplishing my own dreams. And I'm not working towards, I'm not going to spend the rest of my life focused on accomplishing somebody else's dreams. I'm not. You're not. You're not going to spend the rest of your life focusing on accomplishing somebody else's dreams. You're going to focus on accomplishing your own. And that's powerful. That's bad. You're a bad sister. You're a bad sister in the making. Just say it out loud. Just say it. Don't even type it. Just say it out loud right now as you are sitting there watching this broadcast. Just say, I am a bad sister. And believe it. And believe it. Yes. Believe it. Just spend a couple of seconds being in that the moment of you saying over and over again, I'm a bad, bad sister. Yes. Doesn't that feel amazing? It's amazing, guys. You can do anything you put your mind to. You can accomplish any dream that you put out there for yourself. But there's going to be sacrifices. And you can make those sacrifices because God will always make provisions for you. If you pray over those dreams, if you hover, in the, if you take the spirit, you wrap the spirit around you, those dreams and those goals and those aspirations, it's going to happen because you already blessed it through your mouth. God give us this as a gift. God gives us this as a gift. We can use it as a weapon against ourselves or against others or we could use it as a gift choose which one choose right now which one if you choose to use the, your mouth as a gift please click that link above this broadcast please swipe up and click that link and contact me okay guys I appreciate you guys for watching this. Even if you're watching this on the replay, all of my livers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow at 12.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.